Planting trees is one of the simplest ways to harness nature's ability to sequester carbon. To help finance nature-based solutions for carbon removal, the voluntary carbon market is a great place to start. Hi, my name is Saheba. As a remote sensing scientist at B0 Carbon, my work involves monitoring land changes and reducing carbon emissions using geospatial data. In B0's sector classification, ARR stands for afforestation, reforestation, and restoration. Afforestation projects plant trees on land that has not been forested for a long time, while reforestation aims to reverse recent deforestation. Restoration activities, on the other hand, help accelerate the recovery of degraded ecosystems. ARR projects can help mitigate climate change, but it is important to interrogate how effective they are in delivering on their carbon promises. Hello, my name is Amy and I'm a carbon rating scientist. Along with Sahiba, I'll be sharing some insights on carbon ratings we've observed in this subsector. At B0, we've rated more than 40 ARR projects in over 20 countries across the world. Factors in our assessment include satellite monitoring of planting and harvesting patterns, and financial analysis, to name just a few. Carbon quality in this subsector shows a widespread as measured by the B0 carbon rating. Digging deeper, we see that community-based ARR projects often have higher ratings. While for larger scale commercial plantations, our ratings tend to be slightly lower. Project specifics are important, but we do find some common factors that shed light on this difference in ratings. Commercial forestry projects involve industrial planting on a large scale, often by timber companies. While this may be effective and easy to monitor, commercial plantations can present risks to additionality. A common reason for this is they often have high commercial potential through the production of sellable lumber, meaning project activities may have happened in a business-as-usual scenario without the need for carbon finance. Another possible risk is leakage. This happens when the emission gets pushed outside the project area, for example, from the displacement of activities such as firewood collection, agriculture, or cattle grazing. Community-based projects typically recruit small groups of subsistent farmers across multiple parcels of land. Parcel owners retain ownership of the trees they plant and their produce, and the benefits from alternative funding sources. In places where tree planting isn't common practice due to financial or other barriers, this carbon finance model, which directly contributes to farmers' livelihoods, can help support additionality. Furthermore, leakage risks may be lower as farmers often enrol small portions of land, meaning grazing or agriculture can continue in other parts. Sometimes even positive leakage can occur when farmers in neighbouring lands replicate greening efforts as a result of seeing their benefits firsthand, such as tree shade and improved soil fertility. Another important factor we look at is non-permanence which is the risk of stored carbon getting released back into the atmosphere. Because commercial ARR projects tend to span large continuous area of land, they are naturally more exposed to spreading fires. Moreover, industrial plantation are often monocultures, meaning planting is limited to a single tree species with high commercial value in terms of merchandisable wood. A drawback of monoculture plantation is the higher vulnerability to damage from droughts, pests, and disease. Community-based ARR projects, on the other hand, are often spread over multiple parcels of land, with landowners planting a variety of mostly native trees. The distance between parcels and the diversification of tree species with those areas can help mitigate each of these risks. To learn more about ARR projects or other nature-based projects on our platform, please reach out to us and we'll be happy to tell you more.